Oh yes. Been looking forward to getting my hands on this for like a year. Mostly because it's a really inexpensive entry level snowblower battery. I already own batteries for this thing and I love the Snapper XD lawnmower. So let's put it together. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff. Show me how it's done, Izzy. Yeah. Even a four-year-old can turn it. Definitely not a one-year-old. I've gotten two seasons of work out of this mower. It came with two two-amp-hour batteries. I've loved it. I need to use snow blowers around my house, though, and this unit came with a four-amp-hour battery that I can use in my mower. So now I can use batteries interchangeably. Fantastic. Now. I haven't used this yet, and I wanted to make this little video to show you what it's like Well, I don't know, well, weather's still nice. Because once snow comes, I'm going to be using this out, you know, on the driveway and whatnot. With it fresh and clean like this, we can kind of really see how things work. Now, coming out of the box, this thing was so easy to put together. It was so, like, crazy easy to put together. It's very cheap. This is not something that I would recommend to anyone who gets substantial thick layers of snow regularly throughout the winter. We get regular dustings kind of in that one to five inch range. So I'm always interested in using this, especially on my large, huge, long driveway. But let's take a look at some of the features. So the chute itself, you got this little like lever here. Let me pan out. Get this little lever here and you can tilt it up and down just as you would expect, but you have to be doing it from, from here. Now, as to the swivel, whatever you want to call it, it's got this nice little lever, which was wildly easy to install. You just turn it. Simple. You got your nice little on-off switch here, which you're not be, supposed to be able to start with one hand, but you certainly can. You just put, push the button in and push your thing. So it's very quiet. All right, not only does it have an on off switch, but you've got a separate on off switch for the light, which is covered up with this little plastic thing. So if you flip the light switch, the lights go on. Pretty nice because that's a battery saving thing. If you don't need the lights, if you're snow blowing in the middle of the day. The machine came with these little sliders pre-installed so you didn't have to do that. There was hardly any installation, quite honestly. But the impeller, you could see, I can fit my entire finger under it. So I would call that about maybe three eighths of an inch up off the ground. So don't expect this machine to really pick everything off the ground. The impeller blade is just a hard plastic. So if you're gonna have rocks or gravel, this is probably gonna break, quite honestly. So keep that in mind if you're shopping around. Not only that, but everything under here is hard plastic. The exception of Let's see, you see that piece of metal in there? So that's the actual, I don't know, the turning blade thing. Uh, and then the, uh, the slider is some form of metal also. But basically this thing is not gonna corrode for the most part because it's plastic, but it's also probably not gonna be as durable either. You also get these little headlamps right there in addition to the ones up there. The battery compartment is very easily accessible right here. I've got my two amp hour battery in there from the lawnmower just to make sure that it worked. Of course it does. Waterproof housing. And we got a 20 inch width. So I am very curious for our first snowfall to give this a try and see what I think with it in action. Obviously I'm not telling you to buy this thing because it's not going to be the best snowblower under the sun. It's probably nowhere close to it. But if you are in a situation where you do regularly get small amounts of snow, it might be a good option for those of you, especially those of you already in the battery tool system. Now, I like snapper stuff. They're not the most popular battery-operated tools, 
but they're pretty good and I've enjoyed using them for the past couple years. So I have high hopes for the Snapper XD snowblower. When I get to use it for the first time, watch my first impressions, my first usage of the Snapper XD 20 inch snowblower right up in here. And until then, watch this video up here where I answer the question of whether I think battery powered snowblowers are strong enough for the majority of homeowners.